Hello, welcome back. In all honesty, I have no idea how this video is going to come out. I'm filming on my phone because I forgot to get my camera and honestly, it's probably fine that I didn't even bring my camera because I'm at the thrift store. There are a few things that I want to look for that I would like to get. It seems like every time I record um, me going to the thrift store, trying to do like a thrift store haul, I find squat. It is just slim pickings. So I'm hoping today's the day. There are a few things I want to get. I want to look at like old cookbooks, um, some old ceramic bowls maybe, or just like older mixing bowls in general. Some candlestick holders, some more books for Eleanor, and then some pajamas for Eleanor because she is growing so quickly and she only has three sets of pajamas as of now that fit her like all of her footy pajamas they don't fit anymore so i need to look for that and i may or may not look for like a long-ish knit bodycon kind of dress to fit the bump i am just like wearing the same things again and again and again because my clothes don't fit and I'm still too small. I could get away with some of my maternity pants, but they're the panel pants that go over the belly and I just don't want to wear them right now, mainly because my skin is so dry because it's winter time. Even if I lather my belly up with oils and lotions, it's still dry. So I just try not to have anything on it other than like a loose shirt. Anyways, I'm going to go in because I only have a certain amount of time until I need to go pick up my groceries. And hopefully this video turns out good and I can post it. But I will keep you updated and I'll see you later. I'm really bummed I did bring my camera and I have to use my phone because I actually found some really great things today at the thrift store. No clothes for me. Surprise, surprise. It's always a struggle to find clothes for me. Granted, I was limited on time. I'm struggling with my seatbelt and I'm out of breath. Big surprise there. I was limited on time and so I didn't have time to actually sift through all of the clothes because they do a really good job at this Goodwill with keeping things organized and clean. However, things are just so compact and it makes me anxious when things aren't like, you know how at a normal department store, everything is all the same, so it's all together. It's kind of like that. I mean, it's kind of like over at TJ Maxx. Everything's a little unorganized. There's just a lot of stuff. You don't know where everything is at. That's how I feel over at Goodwill. So I need to take time and actually sift through everything, and I didn't have time to do that. So I was able to get, though, Eleanor one pair of pajamas. That's all they had in 24 months. They didn't even have anything in 18 months for her, um, for pajamas for her. Um, sorry, I'm so out of breath and I got a lot of home stuff, which is fantastic. And I also got Eleanor a few things. She's been loving helping in the kitchen lately and I actually need to get a kitchen helper, like the little, uh, stool stand kind of thing that encloses them so she can help at the counter more because she loves to stir the pots and just help with things which i love that's something i've been looking forward to ever since well i mean like ever since before i was even pregnant anyways i got her some stuff to help with that that i will show you guys later and some other home things that i'll show you guys later when i get home but for now i need to go pick up my groceries so i will see you guys in a little bit all right guys i'm home now i switched over to my main camera and I honestly don't even know how this video is gonna turn out. I have to look at the footage after I'm done and decide if I wanna upload it because I'm afraid I'm not gonna have enough content for a solid video. But I'm gonna record this anyways just to see. I got some really good home stuff at Goodwill. I, I think I did pretty well because every time I've been going lately, I get like two things or three things and it's not worthy enough to even Tell you guys about so i thought i did really well but first things first is these things are kind of spread up everywhere i'm going to show you the basket that eleanor is playing with i got that trash can that wicker basket trash can to put up in her room and i've had one before but it was just a little too small and i don't know it was more of just like a toy basket if anything or just like a decor basket instead of a trash can this one you can tell is obviously meant to be a trash can 
and it, it was three dollars next i got her this cute little basket because she has been loving to just carry it around on her arm like this and just walk around the house if i'm looking at the viewfinder it's because i'm keeping an eye on eleanor <laughs> She loves to walk around the house with her little stuff in her basket and she'll just put random things in there, random toys. And it was only $3 as well, I think. Yeah, $3. We're just gonna continue with the Eleanor theme. I got her this little rolling pin for a dollar because she is loving, she's at that stage now where she loves to help in the kitchen. She loves to stir things that are in the pot or in the pan. If it's obviously safe, if it's not splattering or anything. And what I need to do is I need to get her a kitchen helper so she can help mama and daddy, right? Because as soon as we get that, she's gonna be obsessed with being in the kitchen. But anyways, I got this rolling pin because it's not heavy at all, even though it is wood, but I have one and it's a KitchenAid one and it's solid. So if it were to fall on her little toe, it would really hurt her but I think that this one would be perfect for her. It's pretty small and it's also practical too because if she's not using it, then I can use it myself. Something else that I got for her, I think this is, uh, no, okay. So keeping with the Eleanor in the kitchen theme, I got her some little utensil tools to play with as well. I got a potato masher for a dollar and I actually needed a potato masher. And then I got just a basic serving spoon. Hi, baby. Do you want to look? Uh huh. You see yourself? And they were both just a dollar. And I had one a serving spoon before, but I went over to our friend's house a few years ago and I left it there and I just never got it back because I keep forgetting about it. And then with COVID, we obviously haven't been going to other people's houses outside of family. So you're going to go play? I just saw it and I was like, you know what? I might as well just snag it while it's here. And it's only a dollar and she can play with it. She likes to walk around the house um, with my kitchen stuff. And last thing I got for Eleanor was, this was like the main reason why I went to Goodwill though, was to find her some pajamas. And I only found one pair that was close to her size. Do you want the spoon? It's a 24 months size, so it's gonna be a little big for her, but she'll be able to grow in it and has a cute little llama and it's fleeced around the collar. Do you wanna get down? Okay, you can get down, baby. But what I really like about it is that it's, they're not footy pajamas, footless pajamas. Thank you. A footless sleeper, I mean. Let's see. So next thing I got, I saw this on one of the end caps and I almost missed it because it's so small and it was tucked behind some things. But look how cute it is, this cute little hurricane lamp. I thought it was just so precious and I'm surprised that it actually came with the globe too. And the globe is a pretty thick glass. That's your rolling pin. You can play with it. I just, oh, look how cute it is. And I'm thinking I want to put it on this bookshelf right here or have all my like, other knickknacks that I've had around the house. I don't know if you can tell those glass bottles back there, right there. They were in the house. We found them. No, you don't need to pull my shirt down. Hi, hi. Oh, geez, me. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm just showing them what I got at Goodwill because I got quite a bit of stuff. A lot of stuff was for Eleanor though. I like the little hurricane lamp. Isn't it? I was just telling them, I almost missed it because it was on an end cap and it was tucked behind something. And it's so tiny. It's so tiny and it's so cute. Three bucks? Mm. It's not bad. Honey, everything I got was like three dollars. Candle holders are, man. Oh, look, you can get a little bit of melted candle. I know. I need to show them. So every time I go to Goodwill, I have a running list in my phone of stuff that I think of randomly that I want to look at, look for at Goodwill. And one of those things are more candle holder holders. And I thought these were so cute. I'm not crazy about the design. I need to keep them out and see. Um, but if I end up not liking them, I can always spray paint them and then put um, a gloss spray paint over top. 
and do that and just probably paint them like an off white. But I got two, they were both $3 each. Again, same design and not exactly crazy about it. The last one, honey, I have been looking high and low for one of these. Oh, she would have told me. Why? There's one like. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can, I would love to take it. I, it was only $3, this old school candlestick holder. And it actually has a little bit of wax in there, but I'm gonna pop it in the freezer or probably keep it outside and um, see if I can pop the wax out or Josh can take it. And the last two things that I got, I wanted to see if I could find any um, cookbooks, older cookbooks, not the newer ones because I don't like the newer ones all that much. And I found one, I think it's called Fix It. The price tag is on it. It says Fix It and Forget It Cookbook, Feasting with Your Slow Cooker, which I am, we both love um, meals in the slow cooker. But there's three recipes on each page, sometimes two. And it's a pretty thick book. So I was flip, flipping through the store and it looked like it had some really yummy stuff. So I'm excited to try it and it was only a dollar. And the last one I got is, honey, I actually think your parents have this book. It wouldn't surprise me. The Country Doctor Handbook. It was $2, old fashioned cures that prevent and reverse pain, obesity, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and more. I thought it was interesting, so I got it. Obviously, I'm gonna skim through it and see exactly what it has, but I'm thinking I either wanna have it, you wanna go on your rocking horse? Okay, I put you on your rocking horse. I'm thinking I wanna either have it on one of these shelves or, oh, Josh got it out, um, on my, or our, uh, what's it called, our buffet. I'm not exactly sure where. But that is it, you guys. I need to um, get dinner on the table and Eleanor wants to go on her rocking horse. So I'm gonna do that. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.